Get ready, raccoons. It's coming. A new bin for Toronto's homes with the coveted claim of being raccoon resistant. Welcome news for residents running out of options. In the backyard, they got into it a couple times when there was um, barbecue chicken in it. They smell the chicken very quickly. <laughs> Bungee cords, rocks on top. Um, they're uh, extremely clever. So if you could find a way to keep them out, I think the entire neighborhood will be grateful. <laughs> well, Toronto, here you go. A new, bigger, hopefully better bin designed to thwart those unwanted visitors. Details of the rollout will be announced at a press conference later this week. The mayor himself keeping mostly mum. I'll have to describe this as a more covert operation because, again, we found in the past when we, um, you know, gave undue advance notice to the raccoon uh, nation of what we're doing that this did not serve our purpose as well. We managed to snag an interview with the city's director of collections and litter operations for a sneak preview. It's a little bit taller, so it's about 97 litres in capacity. Uh, the existing green bins are about 46 litres. Uh, to open the bin, you turn, you turn the handle 90 degrees either direction and the lid opens. You and drop there's the key. Raccoons don't have opposable thumbs, so they can't grip the handle. And even if they manage to knock the bin over in the lock position, the lid stays put. Oh, wow. We showed residents the new bin, and the early reviews are looking good. But what do you think, taking a look at that? Uh, hey, I'm, I'm open to uh, whatever suggestions people have, as long as, you know, they keep the raccoons out of our our uh, compost. You think we might win with this one finally? This one I think so. <laughs> might, this might be a win. Ideally then this this will mean no more bungee cords, no more velcro straps, no, no more... No more bricks, no more concrete <laughs> blocks, no more duct tape. Okay, I know you're all wondering when are these bins going to start rolling out and where? Starting on Wednesday, they're going to start being delivered to homes in Scarborough. Etobicoke is next. And then the city plans that by the end of next year, all homes in Toronto will have these bins. See, Dwight is complaining he needs one of these like yesterday, he tells me. What's it going to yeah, cost? I know, he tried to put in a good word to, to get <laughs> he one. He was hoping that you today. were going to bring that sample one back with you. <laughs> What's it going to cost Maryville for Toronto to try and outsmart these raccoons? The price tag's about $30 million, Anne-Marie, over 10 years. And that's for the production and the distribution and the maintenance of these bins. But I think if you ask Dwight or, or anybody in the city who's had to deal with these raccoons, if they work, that is money well spent.